What's up, everybody? Welcome back to today, Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, today we're going to talk about the Orlando Pokemon Regional Championship coming up here on October 15th and 16th. Now, this is going to be a three part series. Uh, the first, we're going to talk about like, the general uh, information about everything you want to know. The second one is going to be about the events. And the third one is going to be about the prizes that you can get from this event. As you see, we're actually on a website called PokeRegionals.com. Link will be down below to pretty much everything in the description that you want to know about this regional championship. But let's go over and let's see what is this regional championship about. Well, obviously it's in Orlando, 2016. It's currently 13 days, 3 hours, 52 minutes, and 17, 16, 15 seconds away. And also want to give a shout out to one of our main sponsors. That's going to be the No Limit Gaming, uh, which is going to be a vendor there at the uh, event. And they were one of our big sponsors there. So, we're going to be talking about the Orlando, Florida regionals. As you see, there's one for St. Louis, Missouri, as well as Orlando. But this one, we're going to talk about Orlando. Now, if you do follow, uh, if you have a Twitter, you can go to Pokin Regional, Poke, Poke Regionals, I think is what it's called. Uh, let's look at this real quick. Yeah, Twitter.com uh, slash Poke Regionals. Link will be down that uh, down below as well if you want to check the Twitter pages out. Uh, they have basically any kind of social media you can think of to start following this one out. But let's go down. Let's look about. Let's learn about registration. How can you actually enter to get into this Poke, this regional championship? Uh, when? Well, it's October 15th through 16th, where Doubletree by Hilton at the entrance to Universal Orlando. Uh, so actually, if you if you go there, you can go to Universal Orlando Studios if you want to as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, registration is required by all players. Yes, it's required by all. All players have to register online. Uh, online registration guarantees players a seat in the main events. Uh, Detail the registration link. Click here. But the main thing to note is regular registration closes October 9th. I think it's currently the second when this video goes up. So you have exactly one week to register before this, uh, before the regular registration close, which you need to register if you plan on going out. And we'll explain that in a second why. Uh, Entry free. We'll see it below. Uh, late registration opens Monday, October 10th. Um, uh, Masters Divisions 40, Senior versus 30. Don't worry about this because we're not doing late registration. You're going to register right now for this regionals if you're going to Florida. Uh, prizes, detail coming soon. Uh, we actually talked about this, but Pokemon Regional Championships have more than $50,000 in prize money. I'm pretty sure the winner gets $5,000 if I remember correctly. Um, I think click here. I think it might show on this page. Yeah, let's click on this page. Uh, wait, we'll talk about this later. We'll talk about the prize stuff later. Uh, but it's standard format. That's the main thing to know. It is standard format format which is amazing i know everybody's pretty tired of expanded uh standard formats a lot of fun but divisions juniors born 2006 or later seniors 2002 2003 2004 2005 or masters born 2001 and earlier all right guys so you click down here you see trade card championship uh overview standard constructed entry see below all players a check-in is 8 30 to 9 30 on saturday october 15th uh deck list will be collected at check-in and top cut masters division top 32 switch and top cut sunday at 9 a.m uh senior division a uh, senior and junior division uh sunday at 10 30 uh please check with your vision head judge before leaving the venue for day two instructions uh, click on schedule. You see there's the regular registration is open until Sunday, October 9th. Let registration Monday, October 10th. But we don't have to worry about late registration. We are doing regular registration. Uh, Saturday, doors open at 8.30. Uh, main events at 8.30 to 9.30. Side events begin at noon. Hall closes will be announced. Uh, Sunday, same thing, 9, uh, 9 a.m. And side events begin at 10 a.m. as well. Uh, structure, we know this. Oh, wait. Uh, we think the structure, structure is just standard. That's what we're talking about. Uh, rules and registration all Players are responsible for knowing and interested in the rules and formats set forth by the Pokemon Company International. Uh, tournament procedures, okay, there's check ins, rosters, how can I tell who the judges are? Oh, let's click this one. Uh, BDC judges are in white lab coats, TCG judges are red and black shirts. With any with any issues, raise your hand to call a judge over. The sooner the better. That's pretty good. I don't know. What, okay, matchups, if you've never been to a tournament before, uh, the way you do your matchups at this tournament is you raise your hand, waiting for a judge, a judge to confirm the results and mark the winner. Winners of the match are to take the matchup to computer station of the stage. All players must confirm that the matchup is felt correctly and it is initial by each player. Once the matchup is turned into computers, it is an official result. It cannot be changed. Players are asked to record the records, whatever. Uh, players are asked to check the records on their pairings at the beginning of each round and immediately report errors to the computer staff. All players must leave the player once their match is completed. Any player who wants to drop must fill out their drop form and uh, click. Uh, end of day procedures after any Swiss round standings be posted online and at the players uh, information boards. And like the best thing about like these regionals nowadays is we have online pairings, which is amazing. You don't have to wait for pair paper pairings. Uh, I think it's like usually it's like stadium.labs 
something. They'll have a link there. I'm like 100% positive. Telling you what it is. Uh, players not making day two will still receive prizes. Stand is marked as such. Uh, please report to computer stations for prizing. Any players making day two slash top gun are asked to report their division head judge at the computer station for info regarding day two play. All right, so there's rosters. You can check in rosters, check in procedure, uh, check in 8:30, 9:30. Any player not aligned by 9:30 will receive a match one loss. Players who do will not. Uh, players will turn a complete deck list at check in time. A uh, deck list can be chained. Uh, a deck list can be obtained at blank deck list will be available on site. Uh, you can print out deck list online here, but they have blank deck list online on site, which is pretty cool as well. So let's actually go up and let's talk about this details and registration link. So we'll click this. We go here, and as you see, there's three different options. Now, we're going to mostly cover the trading card registration. Now, there is a late registration, and I'll go over that just a little bit, but let's go over the main one. Uh, so, regular registration is Sunday, October 9th. So, that is one week from now. You have to register by then uh, to beat the late registration. But here we go, guys. So, level one is Masters, uh, $30. And junior seniors are twenty dollars, but you get an entry to the TCG Regional Championship, an exclusive Pokemon Regional playmat, an Orlando Pokemon Regional badge, and a special lantern. Now the the lantern is uh, sponsored once again by uh wait hold on hold on guys I forgot the name oh my goodness I'm messing up. <laughs> ah, okay uh, hold on I look we'll just click home and it'll tell us who does it duh. Uh, no Limit Game is providing, uh, oh my goodness, I don't know why I forgot who's providing the lander, but No Limit Game is providing the lander as well, which is pretty amazing. Once again, shout out to them for doing a bunch of stuff for this tournament. Uh, it's really cool that they do this. Uh, but you get a, a, a playmat, a regional badge, and a special lanyard. All right, now if you want to see the playmat, well, let's, let's look at everything first, everything else first. Uh, level 2. Which is Masters $50, so it's a $20 increase, Seniors and Juniors $40, but you get everything's the same except you get 5 tickets that can be used at the side of it of your choice, which is a $25 value. Um, we'll talk about these later on in the next video about these event tickets. Um, for the uh, If you want to play a side events, you do need these tickets, but like I said, we'll cover that in the later video uh, in part two. But level three, it's going to be a Masters $100, uh, Seniors and Juniors $90, limit to 300 people only. Uh, you get entry into both TCG Regional Championship, both exclusive Pokemon Regional Playmats, an Orlando Regional Badge, a Special Lantern, and 12 tickets that can be used at any side event of your choice, which is a $60 value. Uh, but you get both Playmats, which is which still made, like, that's the great part right there. And you get 12 tickets with a $60 value. Like, that's... Oh man, you're saving like if you want if you're playing a side events and you want like you for sure want to play a side events, this is probably your best deal right here, uh for sure. And you get two playmats. And you're asking, okay, all right, Squeaky, what do the playmats look like? Well, luckily on the Arizona website or Arizona Regional Championship, they actually uploaded uh the pictures of the playmats that's happening this weekend. I imagine they're not gonna say Phoenix, Arizona, they're gonna say Orlando, Florida. Uh this is the champion man, this is a top eight. And if you flip over, these are the hats that you can get. From during the weekend, the Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and the Zygarde. Oh my goodness, this this Moltres hat looks I mean, the Zapdos hat looks amazing. I like the black on yellow, but the Zygarde hat, like green, is my favorite color, so that looks amazing. And you flip over one more time, and these are the playmats you could get. A Volcanion or a Shiny... Is that Shiny Gardevoir? It looks like Shiny Gardevoir to me. Uh, so Volcanion or a, shi a Shiny Gardevoir playmat, which they both look amazing. They're both from Steam Sage, uh, which are pretty cool. And once again, th thank you, Arizona, for uploading these regionals. I mean, these playmats for your regionals pretty cool uh but that's what you can get from these playmats oh, oh one one let's close out of that real quick so yeah let's go back to this and as you said um orlando pokemon regional bad special land here both mats and 12 tickets and now like i said in the next video go over this for sure a little bit better uh if you go down you're gonna notice that late registration is actually 10 more dollars i see right here uh 40 dollars instead of the 30 uh for masters so that's basically the thing is when you do this you have to pay 10 extra more dollars i see masters down below 110 uh, but registration links are down here so if you want to do masters senior juniors uh even vgc you click these as well but you'll click tcg master uh, master division so you click this and here we go you can type in your first last name player id birthday email and then pick your registration level if you're a masters uh do registration one two or three um it's up to you 
If you do play Savage, I think doing number three is probably the best option if you are going to decide to do that. Uh, but guys, yeah, that's my first video. As you see there. Okay, no, let's go vendors real quick. Uh, so we'll click on vendors. Uh, this is nothing they'll have there during the Orlando Pokemon Regional Championship. There's gonna be no limit gaming, which, like I said, is our best thing. Uh, the thing here, they're buying. They're bulk buying uh, basic energy, common on commons, reverse commons, commons, rares, everything like that. Cool stuffing. Uh, looks like they are doing sixty-four thousand. Uh, we do prior, okay, uh, dollar for ultra rares, 20 cents for all hollers. So if you have a bunch of bulk that you want to get rid of, this is the best way to do it, uh, for sure. Go down around, go down below, sell, sell, Cerulean City Collectibles, uh, specialized in Japanese Pokemon center items. We offer a huge inventory and accommodate special requests. So both these guys, uh, will be selling, uh, you know, just singles, anything like that you want to, which is pretty nice. And also, like I said, this is in Florida, uh, you're gonna have like the good thing about this video is there's food on site within walking distance that are a ton of cheap options. It's right close to the Universal theme park, which is amazing. And also vendors will be open on Friday for side events hours. Um, I know it doesn't say here, but just follow the website; they'll eventually have these side events out for sure. And like I said, we'll have player badges and land your spots by No Limit Gaming. It's gonna be a tremendous show, world class judges. And let's go over the judges real quick. If you go on this website, on this Facebook page, uh, facebook.com/slash Pokemon Regionals or land. Orlando, uh, Orlando at Orlando at Lewis. I guess that's what it says. I'll link down below. Uh, but another way to follow the website if you want to as well. Uh, we'll go over this in a second. That's that's something for the final thing. Uh, this has to deal with these tickets I was talking about just a second ago. Uh, but here we go. If you want to know the judges? Oh, so we are excited to have these to have the caliber judges we have on staff in Orlando. Uh, the overall head judge is going to be Clay Mitchell. He's actually from uh, my area, Memphis, Tennessee. I I can tell he's a really really good judge. I actually like to give um uh really challenging questions at league just to see what he says and stuff like that. Uh, but Rick Mitchell is the Masters head judge. He's from Nashville. Eves Roundtree, uh, Katie Schmidt. Oh man, I don't know. Katie, I don't know. I might say her last name wrong. Uh, Jeff Brower, Michael Collins, Marty Schmidt, uh, Brandon. Or Mars and Ryan Alperstein, uh, Sutton, Judges Doug Wagner and Rose, um, and then your Hive lead is Nick Lewis. But there, you guys, there is our judges uh, for this weekend. So if you want to learn who they are, there they go. Like I said, the link to this will be down below as well. And uh, yeah, you can follow this page, see what's all going, uh, get updates onto it as well. If there's more updates, this will be the best place to do it, or the Twitter page as well. It's up to you click either one but guys this is the round this is this is the first video like i said in the second video we'll talk about the different events that are going on at this regional championship it's not only just tcg and vgc there's going to be a ton of things going on as well and besides it's just a single regional championship but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching guys hopefully i'll see you there at the orlando pokemon regional championship and uh yeah guys we'll see what happens but guys hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hit that subscribe button Alrighty, bye all right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.